25th of March, another beautiful morning. Come down here really again. It's it's about quarter to nine now. And as you've seen, or as you will see on the clips I'm gonna put up, I've uh, weeded two more of my onion beds. Uh, finished, finished them now. So I thought, stop, have a cup of tea, as you can see. Oh, but it's, even though, look, see how bright it is. It's quite cold down here this time of the morning. So this is why I've got all this gear on. Uh, like yesterday, no doubt in about another half hour, 40 minutes, I'll be sweltering, so I'll have to uh, get it all off. But uh, I don't know how everybody else is coping, uh, but it's it's very, very quiet down. Well, it will be quiet anywhere at this time of the morning down here, to be honest with you. But uh, everybody had come down yesterday afternoon. It was quite packed. I was quite uh, surprised. It was very, very packed down here yesterday afternoon. But I've got to say, everybody kept themselves to themselves. Now, normally, we all gang together, have our cups of tea and have a chat, but there's none of that. And quite rightly as well, uh, we can't afford to uh, to do it like that. How's everybody else coping? Is everybody else managing to get down to their plots and uh, to do things? I know Sean, uh, James Cameron on on his, he's, he's always asking people how they're getting on. Um, and he's brilliant for, uh, for giving out good information about what's actually happened, where you can go and when you can't go. He seems to be in the know with people from the press and, and different, uh, being able to uh, find out the information for us. So just nip over to his channel, uh, uh, Sean James Cameron. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put a little uh, thing up later on uh, of his channel so you can subscribe to it because believe me, he's very, very knowledgeable and very, very good. So anyway, everybody, as I said again, Keep safe, and I might. Yes, go on to uh, Sean James Cameron. Uh, his his um, channel is Gardening Made Easy, uh, and he's very very good, very knowledgeable. Gets all the information we require. So have a look and see what you think. And as I've said before, everybody, look after themselves and stay safe. My job for today. Uh, I'm going to weed it that bed there. I turned me over winter onions on. That was destroyed a little bit by when the tree had the tree cut down. So just gotta sort that out. And also there's not much weeding to do on that particular one. Uh, so that's my job for this morning anyway. particular tool I've got. I find it really handy for uh, for this sort of weeding, especially on this 8 before bed, which are very small and very easy to manage. And this way of doing it, it's not daunting when you've got a massive big bed to have to do. I just, this little area here, I'll do this area and the one behind and that'll do me for today. But these sorts of weeds, they're only surface weeds, but this here, you just, you just need to get it underneath the roots and out they come. Very easy, just dispose of them, and that's what I, I, I think it's a cracking little tool, really do. It's only a hand one, I know a lot of people can't get on the hands and these, but uh, I'm quite lucky, I, I can, so it's quite simple, easy for me to do. Just around all, all the actual, uh, these are my onions, these are my overwintering onions, which are, uh, which are they'll, they'll come up as soon as that weather gets a little bit warmer, they'll uh, spring into life and uh, it'll be, they'll be great for the air. Uh, for the summer, but yeah, it won't take me long to get through this, then get this done, and then the kettle on for a nice little cuppa, it's only, it's only just gone 8 o'clock here in the morning, uh, where I live on, uh, on the Willow Merseyside, uh, sun's out, pretty cold as you can see by the way I'm dressed, but even so, it, it's a pleasure to be out, especially the way things are now. Oh, there's one bed nicely weeded. Uh, there is a few, there's a gap there on this left hand side. Uh, there's about three or four onions missing from there, but I think that was when the tree come down, must have uh, snapped and destroyed them all. I'm not too bothered. Uh, but it's nicely weeded, all the weeds are out now, so I'm pleased with that. So right, I think it's time to make a cuppa. So, into me shed. 
Get the old kettle on. I know. I'm not used to this being on my own and all me, all me a gang round here, having a couple with me at the uh, on my little table, but not today, I'm afraid. Where are me all my uh, my tea equipment? Right, I'll go off now. Make me cuppa. Have a sit down, and then do that second. Bed. Oh, there's the other second bed, weed free, all done. I decided to do it while the kettle's boiling, so hopefully I'll go back in now. I'm find me kettle boiling, get on with have me cuppa. Oh, there she blows. Kettle boiling. Let's get it done. Well, as you can see, last night it went uh, freezing uh, 0 0.9. Well, not quite, sorry. Not quite uh, freezing, but very close. But look at the top temperature here yesterday in this greenhouse. 40.9. Uh, at the moment now, it's quarter to nine in the morning and it's 15.9. So what I'll do now, I'll reset this and check it again tomorrow, see what it is. Decided to bring me radish out of the uh, the greenhouse now, they're well established. I'll leave them out because if I can't get down here for a couple of days, uh, I hope, well, say hopefully we don't see that much rain, do we? But at least uh, they must, might get watered out here. Just having a look at my clematis, all starting to bud now. Clematis Rubens, it is. And as you can see, I've got it going up there. By my lean too. And it's all starting to, to come out. Wow, I'll be pleased. You can see the flowers forming there. That's gonna look absolutely gorgeous in a week or so. Hope we can get down here to see it. Right, just gonna start the garlic bed. It's only a small one. This. I, was, I was gonna leave it, but I've got plenty of time. So I'll just do a little bit on here. Get the weeds out of this. I uh, weeded this uh, little bed at the back of the, uh, the asparagus and while I was doing that I was just looking down and my asparagus is just starting to show. Uh, I covered this with a lot of seaweed but uh, just got to get that uh, wood chip off there but I'll do that. <laughs> 